Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Paul. Today's video, I'm going to do something different. I've come down here. I'm joined by Steve from Camping Steve on Instagram. How you going? Um, today, we're just going to go around, show you what I do on the weekends when I'm not filming. Um, we're going to go for a kayak. I found a nice little creek here with some really nice bends nut in it. So I'm just going to show you around some nice creeks. All right, let's get to it. Graceful, mate. Yeah, I was gonna say, you may look graceful. <laughs> Might be the time I'm gonna make it. Oh, this is so awkward. How the fuck am I gonna get in that? <laughs> Maybe you should have gone in where I did. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was scary. And we're off. <laughs> that was graceful. <laughs> Not easy with punching ribs, mate. <laughs> I thought I could touch the bottom there. Fuck that got deep. Wow, that's a lot deeper than it used to be. Oh, that's a bit fresh. Oh no, my thong! <laughs> there goes my thong! <laughs> Stuck in the mud. So we just quiet down that creek. Um, beautiful little creek near Lake Bonnie in the Riverland. Uh, we pulled up at a campsite. This campsite here, you'll notice I was here just a few weeks ago uh, recording my Darchi 180 sidewall um, awning review. And that was right here. This is a beautiful little campsite. Check it out. Absolutely stunning. And that's where I got my sunset photo. We love coming here. Pretty cool it's still alive. Yeah. Oh, 
all this damp patch here it used to be dry as we used to walk right along it but now it's really muddy you wouldn't even try it anymore but I have this wall of roots and to think all those trees are still alive that's awesome If you are enjoying this type of video, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of the Riverland. Um, I'll do more videos showing you around the places. For anyone that wants to know, uh, we're staying at Campsite 14 on Loch Luna Reserve, uh, right near Lake Bonnie in Barmara. Um, this campsite here where I did the awning review, that's right here, Campsite 6. Nice little walk up this hill. <laughs> And I'm puffed already. That's the view of camp from up top of this hill. It's a fantastic view, worth the little walk. There's several hundred meters along this walk on the cliff face here. There's massive erosion. Amazing to walk along and view. The scenery here is just spectacular. It's definitely worth coming and checking out for yourself. Check out all the erosion right around us. I've got an old drone shot. I'll see if I can find that drone shot and show you right along here. It's just a beautiful place to come and visit. This is a nice little spot to explore. All the water has washed it out. So we're walking here. Oh, I am so unfit. Oh. Hey, look at this. Underneath here. And you got an entire room in here. This is Oh, I love it. <laughs> that wasp nest and stuff up there. Yep. So this is Chambers Creek. Uh, you enter it near Kingston and Murray off of the Murray River. It goes for 12 kilometers. Um, you end up coming out right up near Lake Bonnie. So awesome creek to get, um, go along. Definitely something you should visit.
there's plenty of campsites scattered along the creek just like this one here beautiful for kayaking easy access for your kayaks unlike our spot <laughs> <laughs> There's some information on the creek if he's wanted to have a quick read before I turn around. Now it's time for me to gracefully hop out. Ain't nothing graceful about this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, we didn't choose a very good campsite. For taking off in the kayak. Now that we're back at camp, finally that time, let's crack a beer and enjoy. Now we've got the fire going so we can try and get some coals going for the camp oven for the veggies. Um, now we've got to get the fire pit going so we've got the charcoal in here. <laughs> Nothing's working. There it goes. Uh, it'll take probably 10 15 minutes. Uh, then we can get that started. Now, I'm cooking that roast chicken again, same one I cooked last time. I loved it so much, I wanted to cook it for Steve this time. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully, it's good as last time. Steve's brought his little gel blaster down to have some fun. Um, we've got a little pistol at home, but we forget to bring it every single week, like everything else. Let's try it out. <laughs> Love it. Even though I go camping every weekend, pretty much every weekend, I'm still forgetting something. And of course this weekend, I'm an idiot and I forgot to bring bait. So we can't go fishing yet. So I'm using one of my snags, um, throwing some of these shrimp nets, see if we can either catch some shrimp or some yabbies if we're lucky. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Started out an absolutely perfect day today. Uh, 28 degrees, it was sun all morning. Um, now it's afternoon, the clouds are rolling in and we're getting rain very shortly. So we're trying to get this done before it rains. I've just got my drone back. I really wanted to take up for the first time and show you this campsite. The whole way around here, we're surrounded by water the entire way around. There's only one little track in. Um, it is a perfect campsite. It's one of my favorites to come to, um, but I can't do it. Right here is National Park. But also, more importantly, um, there's been eagles and hawks flying around the entire day. There's, I've never seen so many. They will just attack my drone straight away and I'll be without a drone, without a drone again. Now we've got the chicken started. So at about three hours time, we have a delicious roast. I can't wait. Uh, it's been about an hour now, let's see if we've got any shrimp that we can go fishing with or even yabbies. Probably nothing. Are you serious? Not even one shrimp. <laughs> I've got a sinker though. See if we get better luck with this net. There's lots of snags here, so I hope it's not snagged. Let's see how we go. Put up quick. Nah, they don't like the sausage. I'll try another spot. Well, that's ruined our night. The roast turned out really nice. We're all happy with that. But we had to eat it as quick as we could, all sitting around the fire, enjoying it. But these clouds are just coming straight in. Um, and now it's pouring with rain and we're stuck under the awning. So my partner Annette, she had raced home. She's an all drive Kluger. There's no way if she stayed another half hour, she would have got out of here. It's all just clay here. So she had to go. Um, if this rain keeps up, it's gonna be very interesting tomorrow to see if we even get out. <laughs> all right, looks like I'm here. Early night tonight, a couple more beers, and then bedtime. Catch us tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, it's come that time. Um, Steve's got to head off. He's got a three hour drive back to Adelaide. 
But I really want to thank you for coming, Steve. It's been great catching up with you. No, nice it was meeting good. you. Good, you too, mate. Yep. Explore some of the river land on the way home and check out a few places and see you again soon. Well, Steve's gone now. I can't pack up yet, though. Everything's still absolutely drenched from our rain last night. Um, it's going to be really fun trying to get out. It's just clay the whole way out of here, so it's going to be slippery as. But yeah, I'm here for the next couple of hours. I'll probably edit the video while this is drying. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you want to see more places around Riverland where I explore, um, go camping each week, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. But thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!